Hey everyone, so I was on my way home from school today, and as I was getting closer to my house, I looked outside the window of the car, and I saw something completely amazing. It's the freaking super moon. Like, I didn't even know it was going to happen until, like, just until I saw it. So I, I just, like, right away, I just, like, jumped out of the car, ran, like, the rest of the way home, because there's, there's, there's kind of tra- there's, like, a little bit of traffic, and I got all my stuff, and I set my camera up. Here, let me just show you. So it's a little difficult to see the moon since it's like really far away. However, this is where this bad boy comes into play. So I'm just going to set up my composition and I'm going to get ready to take some shots. Hopefully it'll turn out well. So right now I was able to get the moon into focus and stuff like through the 400 millimeter. Uh, let's just zoom in to double check. Yeah, it seems about good. So right now, I will just take a lot of shots of the moon and try to stack them in post. So I'll catch up with you guys later to uh, hopefully run through it. Like, I've never done this before, so I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm so excited, though. Guys, I don't know if you can hear it right now, but... Yeah, I just left the camera running. Like, it's been, le it's been that way for, like, a couple minutes already. Like, I just stuck a remote into it and just left the shutter going. Hopefully that'll get me, like, enough shots. Alright, so after I got all the photos taken, I just had dinner and then I had a quick bath, did all my homework, and then I just sifted through all the photos and put, like, put all the sharpest ones into this flash drive over here. So we're just gonna use a program to, like, stack all the photos and, like, sharpen it up, like, make it nice, I guess. It's my first time doing it, as I already mentioned, so let's just get right into it. So the program that I'm going to be using to um, align all these photos and sharpen up the moon is a program called Registax version 6. Um, yeah, I'll just get right into it. So I guess the first thing you gotta do is just press select. So th this is like the contents of my flash drive. Um, these are all the, sh the sharpest images that I sorted out of like, like I guess a couple hundred frames that I took. So I'm not gonna do all of them now because that's gonna take so long and I have to go to sleep soon because I have to go to school tomorrow. Um, so how about this, I'll just do maybe number 6700 through to 6760. So let's just select all of them and then press open. Uh, okay, so we have our thing, we have our moon right here. I guess the first thing we're gonna do is just like set align points, let's just press that. You gotta wait a bit for it to load. Okay, so now it's gonna want us to align, but first I'm gonna set the number of align points to around like between 390 and, 300 and 400. I guess, like that's just my personal preference. I mean, at least from like what I've read about it as well. So it's going to take some time to align this. Well, I really hope it works out. Alright, so we have our... I guess we have our moon right here. And I'm guessing the next thing we do... So. I just like set it up already a bit, cause, so I just um, press the limit setup to choose the best frames and the top 50% of all of the frames will be chosen. So out of like the 60, 61, maybe around 30, 31 of them will be chosen, it depends on the software. But I set it to 50% for now. So I'll just press the limit. Alright, so like basically just from the start of the, of like, of my series of photos all the way to the end, so like you can see the moon has moved a lot. Like even though we had a tripod, like obviously the Earth is rotating and the the focal length of the lens is so long that everything, all the movements of the sky are like magnified. Um. Yeah, that that's fine. So we'll just so we have it aligned already. So I guess we can just press stack, and we're gonna have to wait a bit as well. It's gonna take some time, it's an old laptop.
Alright, so now it's asking me if I want to optimize the number of cards used, so I guess I'll just press yes. Alright, so all the images have stacked. Um, as you can see, it's not very sharp at the moment, because I think we need to go to the next tab and go to Wavelet, and input some settings over here. Oh wait, what's, what's going on? Okay, that's better. Um, I should show full image. So, while waiting for it to load, I did some research on how to use this, and um, so this YouTuber named Tony and Chelsea Northrup, they're a great channel, I love their channel, but uh, Tony made a video on how to um, do moon photography and uh, I guess like how to use um, Registax. He also had this scheme already, um, I think, I believe it was HTTP, um, oops, p colon slash slash. Um, sdp.io slash um, moon scheme yeah probably that so it should, it should open it up uh, they set it automatically download into your computer and then like oh yeah yeah okay and it should apply that scheme to it so let me just See what's going on over here. Oh, it oh yeah, it only sharpens portions of the moon right now. So, I guess what I need to do is press do all. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's right. Okay, so it says it's finished processing. Um. I guess the only thing left for us to do is just to press save image then. Well, here goes nothing. Oh yep, it's pretty much done. Uh, I'll just make a special name for it because I don't want to override any of the images I have. And I'll show you the final image um, right now. Alright everyone, that just about does it for the video today. Um, I think it was actually the longest video that I've ever made so far, and that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for sticking around until the end of the video and joining me in my learning process and how to become better. Um, you guys should really check out some of my other videos, like, I think I have a couple in the Canon AE1 program for the people who like analog stuff and film, and also, I have a couple of other videos, like some tutorials, and also like, uh, oh yeah, um, two months ago I did a video on um, sun on taking a photo of a sunrise in Victoria Peak in Hong Kong. You should really check that out. Anyway, that is all that aside. If you enjoyed this video, you should like feel free to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, maybe you can even subscribe as well. Um, lastly, yeah, thanks once again, and I'll see you in the next one.